SCP-1155 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-1155 is currently contained in a disused parking lot adjacent to an abandoned shopping center in the City Metropolitan Area. The building is to be marked condemned, and access to both it and the car park should be restricted by Foundation personnel posing as security guards from the front company. Civilians are to be deterred from entering the site and supplied with standard cover story 47, structural instability slash sinkhole, if they inquire as to why. SCP-1155 must be kept under constant observation by motion tracking security cameras. If SCP-1155 is observed to vanish, Mobile Task Force Pi-1 should be notified immediately. Personnel should not routinely attempt to view SCP-1155 directly. Observation must be conducted remotely. Whatever flat surface that SCP-1155 is currently inhabiting should be obscured from view by any standard Class II enclosed mobile containment unit, or, in situations where this cannot be affected in a timely fashion, by obstructing it with a vehicle, storage container, or displaced rubble, provided that this can be done without damaging a 3 meter area around SCP-1155's image. Following Incident 1155B, it has been observed that completely enclosing SCP-1155 has a tendency to hasten a relocation event. Revised procedures now recommend the evacuation of the immediate area surrounding SCP-1155 to the minimum distances necessary to prevent contact with the general public, unless SCP-1155 manifests in a high visibility location or anywhere where preventing a public egress is impossible. At the present time, SCP-1155 cannot be permanently contained by any known means. Approximately every two to four months, SCP-1155 has been observed to spontaneously relocate itself to other urban environments, moving as little as 15 meters from its current position up to a maximum observed distance of 800 kilometers. These relocation events can also be triggered by damage to the surface that SCP-1155 adheres to, interruption of an attack, or any attempts to reduce the size of SCP-1155's confinement space to prevent visual contact. Therefore, current containment efforts are centered around swiftly ascertaining SCP-1155's new location and isolating it from public view. When such a relocation event occurs, Mobile Task Force Pi-1 should be immediately deployed alongside local assets to locate the new site as quickly as possible, re-implement containment procedures, and detain any witnesses. Survivors of attacks should be detained. Uninjured witnesses may be administered Class A amnesiacs and then released. Description SCP-1155 manifests as a work of street art or graffiti depicting the form of a humanoid creature with sinewy forelimbs, claw-like hands, and the head and feathers of an owl. The depicted pose is variable, but tends towards a predatory stance, with eyes that appear to track the viewer. Anyone viewing this image directly will experience a compulsion to investigate it further. Victims describe a nervous fascination and a desire to move closer. This can be resisted with effort, especially if the subject is aware of SCP-1155's anomalous properties. If a subject approaches to within 2 meters and is not in the line of sight of another person, they will be subjected to a violent attack suffering severe lacerations, dismemberment of extremities, whole or partial remover of soft body parts, and penetrating head trauma consistent with those that would be inflicted by a large beak and or talons. The attack generally takes about 6 seconds to conclude, upon which both SCP-1155 and the victim will vanish, and SCP-1155 will reappear elsewhere in the usual manner of a relocation event within 7 days. Attacks can be halted before this event by re-establishing line of sight to the victim, but this is not recommended. Attempts to track where the victims are taken by equipping test subjects with GPS locators have failed. 
based on tested interruptions performed at predefined intervals. The attack follows a defined pattern. The victim will first be restrained and the eyes and tongue will be removed, rapidly followed by the amputation of the hands and feet. The victim will then be disemboweled and the intestines and stomach removed. Death usually follows due to shock or rapid exsanguination, but only if the attack is interrupted by visual contact. The fate of victims who disappear along with SCP-1155 at the conclusion of the attack is unknown.